I made the Undyne fight from Undertale in 3D. Because last video I made the Sans fight, and you know, I'm still kind of in the Undertale mood. So uh, yeah, we're doing it again. And you might be asking, why Undyne? Why not any of the other fights from the game? You know, surely there's loads to choose from. Well, uh, that's because I've only ever done the genocide route. The only fights I've ever played are the Sans and Undyne fights. I just can't bring myself to do pacifist, because then I'd have to spare Jerry, and uh, that just goes against my moral compass, as opposed to genocide, which uh, which doesn't. Anyway, that's besides the point, all right? We're making a game today. We're not discussing games, so let's get on with it. First, we've got to make some 3D models. Starting off with Undyne herself, obviously. And I actually had to make two models for Undyne. One for the normal version. Then she has this, like, Super Saiyan transformation. And I had to do that as well. Here's how they turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. And it's, uh, it's definitely better than what I've done before. And now we're onto the environment. You know, the level where the fight is going to take place. Now, the problem with this is, in the real game, you fight Undyne on this skinny ass rickety ass bridge what has this bridge got anorexia or something how are you meant to fight here you'd fall off man right i'm supposed to be making a 3d game and you can't even move up and down moving in every direction is you know it's what makes 3d 3d in it right i'm not standing for this so i had to take a little bit of artistic liberty here and actually make the bridge a decent size there we go that's more like it Calm down though, right? Calm down. Don't celebrate yet. Problems don't stop there. Another problem with this area is it's about as bland and boring as you can get. It's like 90% solid black and then you got a couple of these things copy pasted in the background. Now come on, that's, that's just not good enough is it? So I made the area a bit more blue in my game and I added some glowy particles around the place. You know, add a bit of colour, make it look pretty. But I also added one more thing. You see, this area in the game is actually named Waterfall, but I don't see a damn waterfall. Not one in sight, not one. So obviously I had to fix that. Listen, I, I know it's kind of ugly, but I spent ages trying to get this to work. So listen, we're gonna sit here and just admire this for a couple seconds, all right? Right, there we go. All that shader graph shite I did earlier. All worth it now, just for that one moment. So it's looking pretty good now. But looks on everything, alright? At least that's what I tell myself. There's a reason I don't show my face on YouTube. So now we need to move on to the gameplay, right? In the last video, I made the gameplay exactly the same as the real game. But, you know, I don't want to make things too repetitive, alright? I'm, I'm already doing Undertale twice in a row. So I decided to make a first person game, you know, I haven't done that before, switch things up, you know what I mean? So once I got the basics of first person working, like walking around, jumping, whatnot, stuff like that, we need to add a weapon to fight with, alright? In the real game, you use a ballet shoe as a weapon in this fight, but that's just, just fucking stupid, innit? Alright, so we're not doing that, alright, save Undyne some embarrassment. You know, she's supposed to be this great and powerful hero of the underground going to save the world from this little girl wearing a ballet outfit doesn't exactly fit the mood does it so we're just going to use a generic knife all right we'll, we'll just say this is the toy knife or something i don't know another thing in the real game is that undyne gives you a spear to defend yourself with that's what this blue thing here is supposed to be i mean i know it doesn't look like a spear but that, that's what it's meant to be but hang about all right hang about this is meant to be the genocide run why the hell would she help the guy she's trying to kill? That makes no damn sense. Also, a spear is a bit of a rubbish thing to block attacks with. So we're just going to make it a green shield instead. You basically just block damage with it and then it runs out and charges up real slow. So, you know, you got to use it wisely. Then I also added a couple extra abilities for the player, like a dash, you know, to make movement a bit more interesting than just walking around. And I added a UI with healing items. They're also just super simple. Not much really to say. Just press 1 to 6 on the keyboard and it'll use that item to heal you. And now on to Undyne herself. I quickly realised that if I just had her stand around in one spot, you can kind of just spam hit her until she dies. 
And I mean, there's this whole ass arena to move around in, you know? If she just stands still all the time, all that space will be just wasted. There's no point of it. We might as well be fighting on that little skinny bridge from earlier. And the way I fixed this is now when you hit her, she jumps away from you, right? That's two birds, one stone. All right, now you can't spam hit her and the player has a reason to move. Genius game design, honestly. So, you know, just saying, if there's anyone interested, my CV is in the description. Rockstar? Bethesda? Perhaps? You know, if you want to get in contact, here's my BBM pin. Anyway, next on the list of things to do is the attacks. I was pretty limited here since all the attacks had to be spear-based attacks. That's literally the only thing Undyne uses. She's not all fancy like Sans using gaster blasters and telekinesis and shit. Fucking show off. The first and most obvious attack I could add was the spears that come out the floor. They work exactly the same as in Undertale. They just appear around you and you have to dodge out the way before they shoot up from the ground. Pretty cool. And the second most obvious attack I could have added was her throwing some spears at you. I mean, that's sort of what spears are for, innit? Another attack that I can rip straight from the real game is this yellow spear. In the real game, it like jumps around to the opposite side of where it came from. Now, I didn't really know how to translate that to 3D, so I just made the spear follow you around. That way, the player has to just block it with the shield or, you know, it despawns after a while. So I guess it's nothing like the real game. Shut up, alright. And then the last attack I added was this one. Basically, spears appear all around you and you gotta jump over them. It's kinda like this one from the real game, but again, not really. And that is the last attack I added. For the first phase. Oh yeah, multiple phases. That's how you know it's an Undertale fan game. Alright, don't forget, Undyne's got her Super Saiyan mode. Alright, we gotta add that too, haven't we? I made it so when you kill Undyne, there's a little transition, the screen flashes to white, and boom, there we go. I even added that little spear effect on her eyes to, to make it look extra sick. So the first thing I did for this second phase was I took all the other attacks I already made, and I made them harder. And when I say that, I mean I just made them faster and last longer with more projectiles. That's pretty much it. But I can't stop there, can I? Be a bit boring, that, wouldn't it? You get to the second phase and it's all the same, but faster. Nah, 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 nah. That would be shite. So I had to add in some extra ones, didn't I? Now, for these attacks, I took a bit of inspiration from Glitch Tail, if you know what that is. It's like this animation thing. L listen, it, it doesn't matter, all right? All you need to know is I robbed these attacks from that. I'm not creative enough to come up with it myself. First attack I added was this proper wicked one where like the whole floor is covered in spears. Mental that one is. Once I saw that, you know I had to add it to my game. Now that one was pretty sick, I won't lie. But this next one, <laughs> this next one's better. Y you ready for this one? You ready? Boom. Look at that. Is this attack fair? Like, at all? No. Is it cool as fuck? <laughs> yes. And there we go. That is everything. Now, all that's left is to put it all together. And you know I love my montages.
Uh, right. Don't really know what to say now. Uh, video's over. Go home. Oh, actually, uh, well, hang on, hang on. Not yet. Uh, subscribe first. You done it? You, you subscribed? Alright, cool. On your bike then.